The latest update for your FlexNX concrete scanner now includes Flex Mode. Start at the main dashboard. Under Recent Projects, select the Flex Mode icon to launch Flex Mode. As with 2D scanning, you can choose from preset dielectric values or select Last Used to go with the last dielectric value used. We recommend setting the most accurate dielectric as possible as choosing the correct dielectric will greatly improve the resulting flex mode image. Consider using either the set depth or hyperbola matching features in 2D scan mode to dial in your dielectric values. And when starting flex mode, choose the last used option. Now it's time to determine the area you would like to scan and to calibrate your flex NX vision system. First, place flex NX in the center of the area you wish to scan. If you are scanning a predefined core or cut area, place FlexNX directly over this location. Then roll FlexNX back and forth to allow the vision system to lock onto its position. When you see the green line tracking, FlexNX has begun collecting data. FlexNX will continue to collect data as you progress. We recommend collecting back and forth in a parallel fashion. The more lines you collect, the better the detail in the resulting image. Feel free to only focus on the area that you care about. You don't need to fill the entire area, though scanning the full 2 foot by 4 foot area will provide a better overview of the slab contents. Always start when Flex NX is on the surface you are scanning. Also, do not lift the Flex NX off the surface during flex mode collection. To illustrate the impact of loose versus tight flex mode lines, here are three examples of flex mode datasets collected over the same area with different numbers of passes. Once complete, tap the stop button. Flex and X will process the data and then display green track lines with flex mode data in the background. We call this the top down view. Tap the gear icon on the left side of the screen to change the color tables, gain levels, and slice depth. You can also use shortcuts to the right and left of the image to adjust gain and depth by moving your finger up and down. When slicing the data, Moving the slider to the top will correspond to the top layer or the surface of the scan area. On the right side of the screen, you can toggle the full volumetric model as well as toggle on off the track marks when in top down view. The full volumetric model displays the data as a three dimensional and rotatable data set. Use the gear icon to open the left hand menu and then use the threshold slider to see all the data or to only highlight the strongest targets. Use this mode to view the entire data set and to evaluate how targets are distributed vertically. On the bottom of the screen, you can take a screen grab for your report, collect a new flex mode scan, and delete the current scan. Up at the top of the screen, the top navigation menu provides access to typical flex controls, such as the home button, project information, area of interest, and file number. That's about it for flex mode. Stay tuned for our next video, and thank you for watching.